good afternoon my dear student today our topic is exponents and power so exponents and powers this is nothing but a number repeatedly multiplied by itself is called a power or an exponential of the number so the number itself is called the base of the power and the number of times it is multiplied is called the exponent or otherwise called index so one of the number will be repeatedly multiplied by itself that means the same number will multiply so much of time means that number will be simply write in power or exponential form this is the name of that so the number itself that number uh, what are the number will be repeatedly multiplied that number is called the base of the power and a number of time it will be multiplied the number of time is nothing but it is the exponent or index for example uh, a square it symbolically you write the product of a into a a is multiplied two time so a into a so a is two time it multiplied means a power 2 so a is nothing but it is the base 2 is the index or power so this is the way to write the exponential and power so you go for the exercise you first you write the topic of the unit and then you write the definition so i marked the definition and then note you will write minus a power n is equal to a power n if n is even integer suppose the n is even that means uh, n means the index power is uh, even means the answer is plus suppose minus a the whole power n is equal to minus a power n if n is a odd integer that means this n is like a odd integer the answer will be in minus for example minus 3 whole power 8 8 is nothing but this is a even number so the answer is plus 3 power 8 suppose the minus 5 whole power 13 13 is the odd number so minus 5 remains minus 5 whole power 13 so this is important thing so you write these two uh, terms in the note and then you go for the law of exponent some law of will be given so every law will be uh, copied down in the note Laws of exponent, first law, a power minus m is equal to 1 by a power m. Suppose the power will be minus means you change it to the power plus means the number is reciprocally changed. So a power minus m is reciprocally changed 1 by a power plus m. Second law, a by n whole power n. So that means any division whole power n means the each numerator and denominator is singly you take that n. So a power n by m b power n. Next one a by b suppose the power is minus n means it's reciprocally change the number answer will be plus. So b by a whole power n. Suppose a by b whole power 0 any number power 0 the answer is 1 only. So this 3 for law 2. Law 3 a power m into a power n that means the bases are same the powers will be different in multiplication the powers will be added in single base. So a power m plus n commonly you write only one a the powers will be added. Law 4 a power m by a power n that means a power m minus n. That means in a quotient law this is also law called as quotient law. So bases are same powers will be different in division uh, same base a power m minus n. The next one fifth law a power m into n is equal to a power m n so powers will be multiplied suppose a power n into m means also m into n you will take the answer so this a file loss will be copied down in the classwork note next i go for the exercise 2 evaluate each of the following powers 2 power minus 2 is equal to 2 power minus 2 means 2 is multiplied in how many times means 2 time it will be multiplied so 2 into 2 4 the power having the 2 will be uh, um, already I taken because of multiplication. So now only the minus 1 in the numerator's uh, power. So minus 1 means the minus change to plus means it's reciprocally change the 4 to 1 by 4. So minus 4 by 5 whole power minus 3 is equal to the minus 3 is for uh, numerator and denominator separately. Minus 4 power minus 3 my 5 power minus 3. So minus 4 will be multiplied 3 times or using the concept the 3 is odd number. Odd number means you know that the answer will be in minus same. 4 4 are 16, 16 4 are 64. So minus 64 whole power minus 1. By 5 5 is 25, 25 into 5 125, 125 whole power minus 1. 
so each having the minus one so the reciprocally change 125 by minus 64 the power will be plus but the power having only one so no change to don't put the one in the power so the remaining sums you take it as a homework the next one evaluate 2 power 2 into 2 power 3 all the laws will be used to find the answer this is like that a power m into a power n which is nothing but a power m plus n the same 2 square into 2 cube 2 power 2 plus 3 so 2 plus 3 means 5 so 2 power 5 means 2 is multiplied 5 time 2 to are 4 4 to are 8 8 to are 16 16 to are 32 4 power minus 3 the whole power 0 so powers will be multiplied in a law 4 power minus 3 into 0 0 so any power 0 the answer is 1 the next one minus 2 by 3 whole power 3 whole power minus 2 first of all <coughs> minus 3 means uh, I reciprocally change the question so the plus uh, plus 3 will be taken so minus 2 by 3 change it to 3 by minus 2 whole power 3 my uh, power minus 2 now the 3 will be uh, uh, taken for both numerator and denominator 3 cube by minus 2 power 3 3 3 3 3 are 9 9 3 are 27 uh, minus 2 into minus 2 uh, my uh, plus 4 4 twos are 8 so minus 8 so 3 times the minus will be multiplied the minus is the answer ok the power having minus 2 the power minus 2 termed to plus 2 means you reciprocally change that minus 8 by 27 whole square minus 8 into to minus 80 uh, equal to 64 27 into 27 729 so that this is this is copied on these three sums in the class of note the remaining you take it as a homework this is today class children so everyone copied on this every sum in a class of notes so definition first you write the topic and definition and uh, some notes will be given and then you write the law of exponents and you do the exercise sum one and two sum so first you copy on this remaining take it as a homework so every homework sum you finished in the class of note uh, so this is today class children thank you children to watching the video